What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex, and this video is about Simone Biles, Shakira Richards, and the Olympian athletes. It really ain't even just them, it's just athletes in general. LeBron James, Aaron Rodgers, John Morant, the U.S. soccer team, all of them, and how they're pushing this loser agenda, and how they're trying to make everybody mentally weak and just pathetic so that, you know, the country right now is in a weird spot because we got to get rid of capitalism. For capitalism to thrive, you need a country of winners. You need a country of hustlers, and you need a country of go-getters. So it's like, let's look at Simone Biles, guys. Let's really look at this situation. She said she was injured at first, all right? Which I knew was cap, but first she said she was injured. Then she said she couldn't do it anymore because of, like, mental health reasons, okay? Now, she never even gave what the mental health reason was. She didn't say if it was anxiety, depression, bipolarism, because nowadays people just say they have mental health problems. They don't even tell you what the mental health problem is because they're not clinically diagnosed with anything mental health. I am so tired in this generation of people when they can't perform at work, when they can't perform at their job, when they can't perform in their relationship or whatever, they just say, oh, I have mental health issues. They don't even know. They just rely on anxiety and depression because that's the only forms they know. They don't know about bipolarism they don't know about schizophrenia let me guys let me tell you guys something about mental health i feel the same way about mental health that i do about me too whereas i'm like if everyone is saying it it's gonna take away the importance of it because what's gonna happen is now you got people like simone biles just popping up out of nowhere with mental health simone was you, your mental health was good when you was walking around with goat slippers on but now your mental health is not good your mental health was good when you got on the plane to go out there but now your mental health is not good your mental health was good when you got on the floor to go out there but now your mental health's not good and then it went from mental health to twisties, which has something to do with like twerking yourself too much in the air and like throwing off your equilibrium. But that doesn't even have anything to do with mental health. And this is what I'm talking about. The reason I said it's like the Me Too movement is because when the Me Too movement came out, you had so many women jumping in the Me Too movement to get attention and jumping in the Me Too movement to feel included and to not be left out that eventually a lot of people started getting exposed as liars. A lot of people was bringing up things from a long time ago. People stopped taking it serious. And as a man who knows like 70% of the women I run into have been touched as a little girl or taking advantage of fully as a little girl and respecting guys stopped respecting the me too movement or they stopped taking it serious because everybody was saying it and a lot of lies and stuff was coming out and i feel like now that's what's happening with mental health let me tell you guys something about mental health my mom was clinically depressed clinically depressed like she was on medication for it because i lost like um two aunts and an uncle like almost back to back to back let me tell you guys something not only was my mom on medication for this thing my mom disappeared from the house for two months me and my sister had to take care of ourselves with some help from my grandparents so before anyone comes over here you don't know about mental health you don't know about mental health i know about mental health and i know you don't just pop up depressed with no medication you don't just pop up with anxiety with no medication you don't just pop up with schizophrenia with no medication you don't just pop up bipolar with no medication and then just calm yourself down and fix it on your own that is not how mental health works that's a loser mentality that's that's just it at the end of the day that's not how mental health works you don't just wake up with a mental health problem and that's my problem with this when you tell people that you can just wake up with a mental health problem somebody just wake up and they don't feel like going to work and they can say i have anxiety you were not clinically diagnosed with anxiety they can say oh, i have depression you were not clinically diagnosed with depression you have even talked to a damn therapist and that's my problem with simone biles you cannot go from walking around with goat slippers on talking about how you're the greatest of all time you can't go from walking around with goat slippers on, talking about how you the greatest of all time, to now all of a sudden, you, oh my God, my mental health, I can't perform right, da da da. And then it, the, the needle has moved so much. Then they were saying it was because of the scorecard, only because they scoring her different. But I mean, again, if you're supposed to be the goat, why would you care about that? They score you different because you're practicing moves that no one else can do. But then everybody's like, oh, well, it's dangerous for her to go out there with her mental health not right and things of that nature. Well, guess what? SUNY got a busted ankle and she out there. And nobody cares about that. Then you got Shikari. Shikari the retard running around out here talking about some y'all miss me yet. No, because you wasn't going to beat none of the Jamaicans anyway. And why are you saying y'all miss me yet like we did something wrong to you? The only reason you're not in the Olympics is because you can't stop smoking weed. Weed, which is supposed to be non-addictive. Weed, which is not even that serious. You can't stop smoking it. This ain't no opioid. This ain't no Percocet. This ain't no painkiller. This is weed. And you can't stop smoking. You already talking about some you miss me yet. Y'all miss me yet. No, we don't miss you. I can't wait till Shakari's 15 seconds is up. Then you got cats out here like John Morant. John Morant, we need you to fill in for the Olympic basketball team. John Morant, like, well, if you didn't want me now, don't ask me before. If you didn't ask me at first, don't ask me now. He all out here crying. If you don't know me by now, that's John Morant. You're a grown-ass man talking about this is the Olympics. Look, I said this before. 
This is not some BS game. This is the Olympics. You're supposed to be representing your country. The whole world is here. This only happens once every four years. And you out here talking about some, if you didn't ask me at first, don't ask me now. Nah. Like a goddamn girl. Get your ass on the team, Jada. You got Aaron Rodgers out here. Well, I just feel like some some veterans, we, we think Aaron Rodgers is complaining because of the type of help that he's not getting, even though he got top five everything on his team. But we come to find out Aaron Rodgers is complaining because his friends got cut. Bro, this is a business. Don't nobody care that you was friends with Jordy Nelson. Don't nobody care that you was friends with Randall Cobb. Don't nobody care that you was friends with Casey Hayward. This is a damn business. You was a game away from the Super Bowl last year and lost because you couldn't get six yards at home. But you want to whine about not having help. You want to whine about not having a say in things. You're not supposed to have a say in things. You're the employee, not the boss. You got the U.S. Olympic soccer team out here. They worried about protesting, and they can't even qualify to get a damn medal. They ain't not meddled in years, but they worried about protesting. This is ridiculous. And this is on LeBron James. You didn't even get to see your favorite athletes in the finals. You lost. Shut up. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, they're trying to break down capitalism. In order for you to break down capitalism, you have to break down the hustle and spirit in people. You have to break down the go get them mentality in people. You have to make everybody look at everything and everyone as the same so that way you can take away people's momentum or their morality or their want to be more or their want to be greater. You have to beat the competition out of people. You have to beat the mamba mentality out of people. The mamba mentality at this point in life is dead. Kobe Bryant would have never said, oh, I got mental health issues, I can't perform. I gotta quit in the middle of the game. Michael Jordan would have never said, Oh, I got mental health issues. I can't perform. I gotta quit in the middle of the game. And again, I would have respected Simone's position more if she didn't keep changing the damn reason. It went from twisties to mental health to injury. Which one is it? And like I said, SUNY busted her damn ankle and she was out there going ham. She was out there going ham. Listen, this whole, we got a generation of people who don't wanna work. They feel like they should just get money. We got a country full of people who are ready for a shutdown again so the government can give them $4,000 for nothing because these people have never earned $4,000. And this is what the government wants because they want to put in communism, socialism. And like I said, to have communism, socialism, you have to take the hustle out of people. You have to take the want to take yourself from a peasant to a six-figure person, which you can only really do in America. You cannot do that in socialism or communism. They're going to keep you where you're at. The only way you can move yourself from a peasant to a blue chipper is this country, and they're beating that out of people by making people feel like no one should be left behind no one should be cut you know if you got mental health issues or whatever the case and you can't perform you still shouldn't be left behind or teased or picked on or cut we're basically letting the inmates run the asylum guys if you got a mental health issue to get the hell out of the sport i repeat if you have a mental health issue get the hell out of the sport go talk to a therapist and get some help why the hell are you even on a football team a basketball team or an olympic team and you have a mental health issue why are you going to the olympics to protest this is what I'm saying. All the minds that listen, you wouldn't be on my team. If Simone Biles was on my team, I'd have kicked her off. If Aaron Rodgers was on my team, I'd have kicked them off. If Shakira Richardson was on my team, I would have kicked them off. You're supposed to be all about this team. You're supposed to be all about your teammates. And you out here worrying about your mental health. You out here worrying about old friends who was cut. The country is mentally weak as hell right now, guys. And all you really gotta do right now to win is just be mentally strong. Drag yourself to work. Make that extra sale. Finish that project a little earlier. Push yourself to finish that test. Push yourself to finish that degree. Don't get pregnant. Don't get nobody pregnant. All you gotta do is the little things nowadays to win because people don't wanna do the little things that's necessary to win at the end of the day. Imagine going to the Olympics and then saying you got a mental health issue. Imagine not being able to go to the Olympics because you can smoke weed. Imagine not showing up to training camp because a couple of your friends got cut when you were just in the NFC Championship game last year. Imagine thinking that the whole NBA Finals if you're LeBron James is about you. These athletes are acting this way because that's the way they want the country to act. They want the country to have no balls. They want the country to have no competitive spirit. They want everyone to be a bunch of quitters and losers and have a loser mentality so that way they can easily install socialism and communism in this country. We give everybody X amount of money to take care of themselves and that way we don't got to worry about all these bums coming up and getting all the money and we don't got to worry about capitalism in the anymore. They're trying to mold you guys into being losers. There's no excuse for quitting on your team. There's no excuse for not showing up to camp because a couple of your favorite players got cut. There's there's no excuse for shitting on two teams because you feel like you're the best player in the league. You get what I'm saying to you guys? And you're not in the finals. There's no excuse for the Olympic coming every four years and you say you don't want to go because you weren't asked at first or you can't go because you can't stop smoking weed. People are making excuses for these things. This is loser crap. This is a loser mentality. And I need you guys to know this is not the way you go about life. This is not the way you go on a team. Okay, you have to be a winner and you have to be mentally strong. And if you're mentally strong right now, this is an era of mental weakness. I'm telling you right now, you're going to win. Just keep pounding the pavement because everybody's weak. Everybody's a quitter. They ain't never read three feet from gold. So they're going to stop popping and we're going to keep digging. We're going to keep popping and we're going to find that gold.
All right, but don't be a quitter, don't be a loser. Stay mentally strong. Take advantage of this capitalism why it's here. So you can already be set before it switches. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.